Okay, we're going to find the derivative of this. And notice that we have this crazy thing times another crazy thing, right? Well, instead of doing the product rule and also the chain rule and those crazy stuff, let's do the following. First of all, let's go ahead and take the natural log on both sides. And the reason is because natural log can actually help us break this apart very nicely. So have a look here. On the left-hand side, we have natural log of y. And then for the right-hand side, well, this is a product. So we can look at this as natural log of this first term, which is x squared plus 2 raised to the second power. And then we add natural log of this is x to the fourth power plus 4, and then raised to the fourth power like this. In fact, we can actually do more with the natural log properties. Because this right here, we have natural log of something to the power. We can bring this to the front, but do not minus 1. Because this is just a natural log property, it has nothing to do with the derivative power rule, right? So, in fact, we can look at this as an equation. ln y equals 2 natural log of x squared plus 2, and then plus 4 natural log of x to the fourth power plus 4, like this. And then we will do the derivative. So, I will put down d dx to mean that we will differentiate the whole thing. The left-hand side, when we differentiate ln y, we first get 1 over y. And don't forget the chain rule. We are going to multiply by the derivative of y with respect to x, and that's exactly the dy dx that we are looking for. All right, for the right-hand side, this is a constant multiple, so I will just put that down. Differentiating ln of something, again, is 1 over, which is with the x squared plus 2 in the denominator, but don't forget the chain rule again, multiply by the derivative of this. The derivative of x squared plus 2 is nicely equal to 2x. Similarly, for this one, we add, bring down the 4, times the derivative of this, again, is 1 over the inside, which is x to the fourth power plus 4. And then chain rule right here, right? Multiply by the derivative of this, which is 4x to the third power, like that. And then notice that we want to get the dy dx by itself. Let's go ahead and multiply y on both sides so they cancel. And I'll multiply y entirely on the right hand side like that. So finally, we will see that dy dx equals the y in blue is actually the original. So I will just put on the original down right here for the y. So we have the parentheses x squared plus 2 squared x to the fourth power plus 4 to the fourth power. This is the y in blue. And then, of course, we'll just write down what's in the parentheses. 2 times 2 and then the x. So we have 4x over x squared plus 2. And then this times this is plus 16 x to the third power. And we have that over x to the fourth power plus 4, like this. And in my opinion, this right here is actually pretty good already. But sometimes you may need to, you know, combine the fractions and all that good stuff. So I will do that. If that's the case, just multiply the first fraction inside with this denominator, which is x to the 4 plus 4 on the bottom and also on the top. And then right here, of course, we do the same. Multiply by that denominator, x squared plus 2, like this and like that. So we will see that. This right here will give us x squared plus 2 squared x to the 4 plus 4 to the fourth power. And for this, we will have this and that on the bottom. So I'll just put that down. And then on the top, here multiply, we get 4x to the fifth power. right? So this is 4x to the fifth power. And then 4x times this is plus 16x. Yeah. And then we have this times this is plus 16x to the fifth power. This times this is plus 32x to the third power. And of course, we can cancel things out. This can be canceled. This over one left. And then this right here can be canceled. Yeah, we have three of them left. And then combine terms and we'll be done. So finally, I'll just put on the answer right here for you guys. We get x squared plus 2 times x to the fourth power plus 4 to the third power. And then multiply by this inside, we have this and that, which is 20x to the fifth power plus 32x to the third power, and then plus 16. And with that, we are done.